So I got a surprise today. No, I know it's not car parts, but it's something I really needed. And I'm a nerd, so I'll take it. But if you haven't watched my channel in a while, you know that I love playing video games. It's something I did before we did car stuff. So I bought something to go along with my nerdy comic book love and the games that I want to play. And I guess it kind of counts as car-ish. I mean, it looks like a car seat. So if you haven't known, obviously you do, because you read the title. We got a new chair, and it's Captain America chair. And Captain America's my favorite. So we're going to open it. You can see me up there. So this has lumbar support and back support for um, you sit too much, here's some pain relief cushions. But they strap onto the chair so that you can have lower back support or you can also have a sweet pillow <laughs> which also attaches where you need it and it's all made out of leather and it has cushions. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it does it does seem car related. It's got it's a gaming chair, so it's based around like a racing seat. But this thing is so over the top. It's embroidered everywhere and it's got nice leather, which means no matter what time of year it is, you're gonna sweat. No matter what. This is awesome. Cardboard. Here's the face of it. Some assembly required. Now the base of it is your normal chair, but it does have lots of cushion. And that's what we're looking for, it's the cushion. So that way when we're being lazy, we don't have any back pain. But it matches the colors of the front. They could have done away with the black. I don't really care for that, but the blue is okay. I love that. And the rest of it is your arms and legs and wheels. So now we're going to assemble it and we might actually follow the instructions on this. I mean, it's a general computer chair. But I have known to miss a piece, so the chair sits too low. So we're going to follow the instructions, which seem fairly simple. It's one pitch. Ish. Well, we're going to put it together, uh, kind of do a little review on it, and put it up in our office and go play games. Or at least I think wheels are the easiest. Because you literally take the wheel and just push it in there. But look at these things, man. They're pretty sweet. They're made out of plastic, so it's going to last a year before it starts catching on stuff. But we're not racing in our chair, so it doesn't matter. Although we should, because it does look like a racing seat. wheel. Alright, so the wheel is done. Now this little guy is something. I want to say there's a piece that goes with this to make your chair taller, but I think this is it. It literally just sits in there. That's it. It drops right in. Next part. Is these are extremely big, so we should probably check this first. I put together a couple of these, and I noticed that sometimes this doesn't work, but that's what it does. I don't know if you saw that, or not. but basically, if you push this down on the floor, it'll lift it up. It's the same as if you push your button on the chair. So you just want to check to make sure that works before you put it together, and then it just drops in there. 
Now, for the next piece, um, you get to assemble the base of the chair to put it on here. I don't know why I'm explaining to you how to put together a chair. It's a chair. Let's just put it together so that I can sit on it. So this is all pretty straightforward stuff. And if any of you know, it is extremely difficult to do things with one hand and hold the camera with another. so much but it just looks nice with the marble um, the back support might be nice but I don't I don't think I really need it I usually lean forward a little bit but we're gonna give it a little test and see how how we like it all right so my initial my initial reaction to the chair is it is comfortable uh, like most chairs are when you buy them um, I do see the white getting dirty really quick but so far, um, I, I would say it's comfortable. The arms are in a good spot. They are adjustable. And it does look awesome. Who wouldn't want a Captain America chair? I swear they could put marble on anything and people will buy it. Uh, like this guy. But complaints so far is uh, one of the bolts on the bottom just would not go in. But other than that, I think we're gonna take it upstairs. Um, I hope you like all my hearts and stuff. Any uh, rainbow over there. We're in my wife's studio. But so far, the chair looks nice. Um, I'll give you a little rundown of it. It's it, you, you saw it getting put together. It's pretty much the same thing. It is Captain America from top to bottom, and it is embroidered right into that. It is nice. The marble's embroidered. The A. Um, turn it around. It even says a marvel down there. Um, now my only concern is, I'll show you when I bring it upstairs. My other chair got pretty scuffed up right here because that's where I hit like the back of like the door. So I might put something there to protect it. But my only other thought is hopefully that it fits in my office so I can shut the doors too. But it's comfy. I've always said that I want a chair that kind of looks like my car seats which i pretty much have now and it looks cool but that's uh pretty much all we're gonna do for now um it's kind of hard to do car stuff we have like 10 inches of snow uh, i still drive it around which is awesome it's doing great in the snow but we're not getting away from car stuff we're just trying to fill some time as the weather is crappy out but on a car related note I grab some stuff, but we're not we're not done with car stuff. Um, I got my grill, so we can replace that. Uh, the cool thing is, is it did come with like this ST logo, so that I didn't have to replace that. Uh, we have a fog light bezel, cause that broke, and then we have the, 
fog light, which I took out of the box just to make sure it would fit. Um, it says aftermarket on it, but it has an OEM part number. Uh, the cool thing that I want to do with the fog light is I want to tint them red. Uh, I don't ever use my fog lights. Uh, they're ugly. And I don't drive far enough to have to worry about the fog or cutting through the fog. We're going to do that. Uh, my next video will probably be about shaving the back of the grill. I know there's a lot of interest in that. I've been asked a couple times about that. And we're going to do like the, the simplest way that I think, or the way that I did my other one, which I'll show you. Uh, to me, it's the easiest way. I, uh, if you Google it, look on the forums or anything, you see a lot of people using like angle grinders and stuff, and it just it chops at it. And I know you don't see it, but for me, I want it to be smooth and have a nice finish. Um, one of the other things that I was gonna do is the bezel um, down here. If you look close, I don't know if you can really see it. This is not the same glossy black as the grill. So what I want to do is I have to take my car to the shop next month to get it painted and the bumper just kind of sand it down a little bit is I want to paint those glossy black to match the bumper that way everything kind of looks the same and then I'm hoping that I'll just get them clear coated so that they'll last but other than that we're gonna go put this chair in my office show you around really quick and then the next video we'll do car stuff so it's kind of dark in here but uh, it fits, matches all my stuff, goes along with all that stuff. I like it. And if you look below it, Hello. there's a Chloe in it. And if you look behind it, there's a Rory. Nerds. And there's a pillow. All right, so that's all we have. Uh, the next video, I promise, will be car stuff. Might do some gaming stuff in between, just because, like I said, we have a bunch of snow and it's just going to get worse. But. We'll see you guys in the next video.